right, you guys. Happy New Year to everyone. Welcome, Denise Brown, to our online tutor school class. And thank you, Nanny Majors, for your continued support and monthly donation to us here. All right, you guys, those of you who would like to join our online tutor school class, assignment number 13 is ready. So you can email us at themalaysagmail.com to join our online tutor school class. And remember, you guys, go and support us here. Go and donate to us on PayPal at themalaysagmail.com. We do ask for $1 per video. Some people donate to us monthly. Some people donate to us whenever um, they watch a certain amount of videos. You can don donate to us as much as you like. We really greatly appreciate it because it really helps us here to continue our research, right? All right, you guys, you know, I like to um, pray for those of you in need of the GSA bonds to set off. If you need to set off matters like child support cases, mortgages, foreclosures, ticket citations, utilities, auto loans, student loans, warrants, and for those of you who are having to see an agent doing business as a parole officer, as well as those of you with warrants, and those of you in the churches doing business as jails, for nonviolent offenses, you can email us to get the set off templates, the GSA bond templates to set off set off to matters, and the 1099 OID to get back the finances they claimed you owed. All right, now, you know, I like to pray. Um, Heavenly Father God, we pray we like to put a hedge of protection around all that is good globally, eh? Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, the Army, the Navy, the military, the Marines, and all the good people helping us to get free. Now look at what was just sent to us. Um, this is the one we created this morning. Thank you to all of you in the comment section. That's um, Howard King, AG Global, JL. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your comments. You guys can go back and watch this one. Really interesting stuff there. Here's our website. You guys can watch our videos on our new website. Here, you can visit us here, right? Um, all the videos are posted in here from the, both channels, I think, yes. So you're welcome to watch those there. And I thought this was really interesting. Um, and right now, we are literally having our civil rights taken away from us and squashed and walked on. Only thing that we ask you to do is look at the evidence from we the based upon the evidence we have seen to handle criminal prosecutions when crimes are committed. Knows the ins and outs of this whole process, so he's going to take it away. Where a mother and, 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 and daughter team came in and said, hey, you know what, we're going to have a flash drive in our pocket. So that's why we come here today. Why is it important? Because nobody should interfere with the United States elections. Why? Because we're a sovereign nation. And you're going to hear more. And the first speaker of today, I would love to bring him up. He's the former judge, Judge Nally, and you're going to hear USC codes like you've never heard it before. So the people understand that civics is very important and social studies is very important. And then I'll come up and I'll say some other things about how important it is for people to research and really understand what's at stake in America. Thank you, Annette, for that. Yeah, Judge yeah. Nally. And he, I hear, is a very important person who kind of knows the ins and outs of this whole process. So he's going to take it away and kind of explain what it is they want, what is their goal, and how they're going to possibly achieve that goal. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank, from the bottom of my heart, all of the 44 petitioners who signed on to this grand jury petition. And I would also like to thank and uh, any of the people who signed letters of support and have mailed them in to the grand jury. This group of 44, by the grace of God, have been able to understand and see evidence which gives them a reasonable belief that there were serious election violations in this presidential election cycle. Now, normally, we the people depend upon our executive uh, departments to handle criminal prosecutions when crimes are committed. Unfortunately, that does not appear to be the case in this situation. The, the uh, Attorney General, uh, Mr. Barr, shortly before leaving office, made the comment in, in words to the effect that he did not see a sufficient amount of evidence to indicate to him 
that there would be a significant difference in the vote count, which we interpret as being a statement to the effect that the United States Department of Justice will not seek a criminal prosecution of anybody who may in fact have committed criminal acts. We do not agree with Attorney General Barr's assessment. Based upon the evidence we have seen, we are satisfied that there is probable cause to believe that criminal acts did occur and did adversely affect the value of each of our votes and the votes of our neighbors. Hear, hear. Those, those votes are our individual pieces of property. So when they are unlawfully taken, it is time to criminally prosecute somebody. Now, in our republic, there is a governmental entity established in both the United States and the state of Georgia Constitution called a grand jury. They stand between the government and the people. The neat thing about it is everybody answers to that body. Everybody. So we are asking the grand jury, the federal grand jury, to look at all 50 states, determine if there were, in fact, if there was, in fact, evidence of malfeasance, and if so, determine who the perpetrators were, the crimes they committed, and return presentments or indictments as the grand jury sees fit. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Judge Nally. It's very important that we also look at someone who's very great, Lucretia Hughes, why don't you come up and talk about what it means to have integrity in elections. The reason why my name is number one is because I believe in the Founding Fathers document. I believe in the Constitution of the United States and the First Amendment, where it says that if we do not agree, we have the right as American citizens to regress our grievances or redress them. Now we have seen Judge after judge shut us down without listening to evidence from Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, Arizona, and Nevada, and Georgia. We have had sin representatives call the citizens of America liars and not want to hear any of our evidence. If one claim of voter fraud is, isn't sufficient, then I don't know what is. Our forefathers and mothers not only gave us the women's suffrage for the right to vote, but also our forefathers gave us the Civil Rights Act. And right now, we are literally having our civil rights taken away from us and squashed and walked on. Only thing that we ask you to do is look at the evidence from we the people. Not we, the sitting representatives, but it's we the people. We see that there are malfeases. We see. Love it. For an East Valley man, today he is 110 years old. Yeah, as Susan Casper reports, the guy is sharing his secret to longevity. If you eat properly, get your rest. Words to live by, considering Bernardo Lapayo of Mesa was born in 1901 and has lived to be 110 years old. They had no automobiles, they had no airplanes. I saw them all come about. Fernando tells me he's never been sick a day in his life. He walks every morning and eats mostly organic fruits and veggies. People ask me, uh, what do you do to stay so young? I say, well, you've heard the uh, old saying, I know you have, you are what you eat. So what's Fernando's secret? Five foods, garlic, honey, cinnamon, chocolate, and olive oil. Healthy habits Fernando picked up from his father, a doctor who lived to be 98. And he told me not to eat ordinary red meat. He said, lamb is okay, but red meat, stay away from it. Hot dogs and, and the french fries and all those things, don't eat it. Fernando keeps his brain sharp by being a voracious reader, solving crossword puzzles and playing checkers. I can remember things that my father told me when I was eight years old. A father who showed his son how to have a rich life worth living. And he taught me how to live, how to eat, and to have faith in God, and, and he would take care of me. And so far, it has happened. In Mesa, Susan Casper, ABC 15 News.
amazing yeah you guys some birthday and today he is amazing absolutely incredible so remember you can go to noble l the second um for more wonderful stuff somebody was asking how do we shut this down on the last video we created the nwo remember you guys on this channel and privately we nationals not just us here but the other angels around the globe shut it down long before it started eh let me tell you how they did it um a lot of the heirs serve these entities the same um style of affidavit that we did right with the questions asking them simply did they do war crimes against humanity and all the stuff you hear us talk about in the public affidavits hence all the arrests and executions right using the insurrection act and a whole bunch of other stuff laws true laws right that's what's going on now so what we're seeing now is a tail end of stuff play out that being said this covert war and i'm reminded of the movie go and watch the movie i know that he was a rich but if you could just get past it watch the movie charlie wilson's war right you will overstand kind of what's going on now right this operation has been in the works from um they're telling us the 60s but my spider senses are saying that this has been in play long before when the coup d'etat took place in 1861 everything from that point on and maybe even before then was unlawful the organic constitution that our forefathers set up for us the iroquois confederation which is the supreme law of the lands with the treaties in that all agents in power even those de facto agents took an oath they took an oath to uphold the constitution even though they took an oath to the foreign sovereign immunities act because they had to take an oath to uphold the constitution it's divine you guys it's divine it's divine it's divine so all you see going on here you have to go within and ask for some guidance as you're going through this stuff like we did right so we were just talking to another queen here and explaining some stuff to her while she was explaining some stuff to us and i was telling her that i think there's something that was hurting and she said to use some olive oil and as soon as she said i was reminded of that remedy you know so when he was talking about just now olive oil cinnamon chocolate and um, organic fruits and garlic and stuff that he uses too yes go within you guys and you will get the remedies too now remember to support us here go to paypal i'm going to put the link to our paypal button in the description below as it really helps our people here i don't care if people want to make fun of me for asking for help i didn't wasn't able to do all the stuff i was able to do this year without the help of the people so i just want to say a huge thank you so remember to support us here go to paypal at the millennials gmail.com so we can continue to uplift fallen humanity here even if it's just food you guys even if it's notes for food this guy asked me for um notes to get some food this morning and a bottle of coca-cola i think he drinks coca-cola every day it's this homeless guy anyways but um yeah we really really appreciate it, it makes a big difference right and then if you need the gsa bonds or you want to join our online tutor school class email us at the at gmail.com like share subscribe you guys have yourself a great day welcome denise brown and thank you danny majors